All right, in this video we're going to be making the um, the Ryobi One Pixel Tester, which is basically just a pixel tester that um will be portable on a battery, so you can use it out the field or whatever. Um, creating it out of a an old battery charger, which you tend to get a lot of when you buy enough of these tools. Um, most people that have enough of these tools end up buying the wall mounted like six battery chargers or whatnot so it's a great way to make use of one of these and incorporate a um, pixel tester into it so we're going to be using a pixel tester um, just your cheap ten dollar mini RF pixel tester and a LM2596 DC to DC buck converter this version, I've already, this is my 12 volt one, so this version's going to be a 5 volt one. Um, so let's get into it. You're going to need a T10H um, Torx screw. Uh, it's the one with the hole in the middle. You'll get two different types. T10 doesn't have a hole. T10R is, I think, rounded on the edges, and then T10H is just sort of flat on the edges with a hole. Uh, you'll need to take out those four screws, which I've already done. So you'll split the charger. And um, you basically just want to pull this crap out. I've already had this open, so um, we'll get rid of the power pack. And then we'll get rid of that logic board. And that's the piece we want. It's just going to go on top of the battery, like so. That's how it'll be mounted. Um, these have three um, prongs coming out. One's black, one's red, and one's yellow wire. I just cut that middle one out and um, just use the red and the black. That's what we're going to be putting the power to. Uh, the rest of it can get rid of. That's the only part we want. Um, and the buck converter and the pixel tester so that's pretty much all we want the rest of it can go we want to take the battery piece i'm going to be removing uh, the solder here and um, to do that uh, just move that and get rid of that now if you're um, worried about losing which one's negative and positive you can just use your soldering iron and say negative and then positive too easy um we'll get rid of that one just pull that off now we'll just wick off the um solder yeah, it looks good enough so now we will get our buck converter which I already have attached the um, uh, the wires for the battery to, so. All right, we'll just solder this one on there. Should be good. Okay, now we've done that part. Okay, now we're back here. Oh, that's the buck converter connected, so let's just turn the line off. Uh, what we want to do now is connect the buck converter to a battery because I'm going to set the voltage, the output voltage. So We'll grab a multimeter and a screwdriver. Now I'm going to set this at uh, all 5.1 volts. So we're at 15.1 at the moment. We'll just turn it anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. Keep 
good. 5.4. There we go, 5.1 volts. So I'm happy with that. As long as you don't adjust that little screw, it'll keep that voltage. Now onto the pixel tester. So I'm just going to cut the um, plug off the end. Strip the wire. So now we want to attach the pixel tester to the other side of the buck converter. We've got the pixel tester connected, uh, making sure that positive and negative are correct. We'll just solder these on. And then we'll give her a test. All right, now we've got this connected. Um, we'll give her a test. It's set at five volts. So now I can grab my um, my remote and something to test with. Um, got a strip lead, five volt, and my um, all-in-one homemade janky cable too connect all sorts of different types of plugs. So we'll connect that one. And connect this one. And now if we get a battery. There we go. It's working. So we go to the light. Yep, it all looks good. Auto, yep, so that's the pixel tester running off the Ryobi battery. Now the trick is just to package this back in the charger, the old charger case, so I'm going to use um these chargers have holes for the LEDs, so I'm just going to use one of those to have the cable come out of, just like I did with this one. So I'll push that down in there. And there you go. That's another one. So, as you can see the battery will go on the bottom. But what I'm going to do is I'll just open it again. You can see I've got the um, buck converter in there, and then the pixel tester is connected to the battery. But what I want to do is I'm going to use a bit of hot glue. And just stick a bit of hot glue behind it just to hold that there straight so it doesn't move around and stick a bit of hot glue just on the back of this cable just so it doesn't pull through might be a little bit hard to see but i'll stick some in there just so that cable doesn't pull through and then she should be good so let's do got some hot glue in here i've stuck a bit of hot glue in the the back here behind the um pixel tester and behind the buck converter to hold them in place so they don't wiggle around and then stick that cable through the hole and stick a bunch in there stop that pulling out then we'll put the cover on and then once that um hot glue dries you might just pump a bit in the hole there like I did with my other one. Clean it up later. And then pump a bit in that hole just to 
so crap don't get in there water whatever and there you have it we'll just let that um cool down and that'll stop the cable moving around there you go that'll be my five volt tester so now I'll just um I'm going to pan and mark at five, so I know which is which. And now I'll get the sticker, and it peeled off the pixel texture. I'll whack it there because why not? So what I'm going to do next is um, I'll use my laser and I'll etch 12 volt and 5 volt into the top of them and then that way even if um, the sharpie rubs off it'll be etched into the top and I'll never get them mixed up and there you go now if I just get a battery again another test and there we go now I can test pixels with a Ryobi one battery good way to um, make use of these chargers that you end up getting a lot of and that's it if you really wanted to I guess you could probably put a switch on it maybe on the top and switch between two buck converters try and jam two buck converters in there and get you know really technical like that but I've got a couple of these so it's easier just for me to just do that and I've got one for each and yeah they're both the same they're the same um, connectors on the end but I just make a cables like that that'll plug into one and then has different outputs on the end of it just out of spare off cuts and stuff but yeah there you go it's how you make the Ryobi one um, pixel tester if only Ryobi would make it because I would have bought it quite happily <laughs>